This is a basic jQuery plugin definition, um, starting from a blank page. I have my browser back here, I'm using Chrome. And we'll start with just the JavaScript. Whatever you want to call your plugin, you name it here. This is basically um, how, you, how we're going to call this later is that if we have a div named some div, we would call it some div dot plugin name and it would execute. You could call once you're inside the plugin. Once you're calling inside the, the div, um, you could call everything this, like this dot init, and call your functions like that. But instead of doing that, I'm just gonna call that um, stored in a variable called base. It's just good practice. And once you're done defining whatever functions that you want inside the plugin you're going to call the init plugin at the end. Um, so just to show that this is working, I'm just going to log to the console. And so as soon as we call this, it's going to call the init function and then it's going to log to the console plugin works. Um, I'm just going to call it on the, on the body. And then here we see that it logs out to the console. So basically, just a quick run through. These parentheses at the beginning, if you don't know what closures are, um, research them. <laughs> it basically calls, it basically stores, uh, encapsulates somewhat data inside the function so that you don't have, you know, if you have variable names the same as other plugins, it's not going to affect them. It's not going to overwrite them. Um, again, this this line var base setting into this. That's just good practice, so you don't have to keep on calling this inside your uh, plugin. And then every plugin should have an init function and call that init function after your your function definition. So if you were if you were to define other functions, it would be inside here, <coughs> and however many you want to define, and then you just call the init function after that. So it does not do anything right now. Let's make it do something. Um, we're just going to move a div that's a, that I'm going to make a square. We're going to move it animated with jQuery's animate um, method along the margin left property. So I'm just going to put move x as the plugin name <coughs> and on the init I'm going to call base dot move me that I'm going to define right underneath um, and instead of storing it as this I'm just going to put a jQuery selector around it so, it's, so we can just call the animate function directly on the base Just move it to 500 pixels, and we need a square to animate. And give it a style. So there we should have a box. There it is. And then if we call this move X plugin, which is basically just calling the uh, the jQuery selector a function call. 
it should move this sun box to the right 500 pixels at a speed of half a second. And there it goes. So if you refresh the page, it's just automatically and it's it and it calls that function to go in there. So that's a basic functional definition. Um, some more basic stuff would be to uh, to pass it a parameter of how, how much uh, the distance or the speed. So if you want to pass uh, move x and you wanted it to move at two seconds, then we would pass that into here as a speed parameter. And just put the speed down here since we're not modifying it anywhere else. So now we're going to move x at 2,000. And then there it goes. It's going slower. If we put 200, it's going to zoom across too fast. So that's the basic plugin definition. Um, the next thing I want to show is a basic use of jQuery's extend method. Um, extend. What it does is basically you would use it to when you're merging um, object literals. And you see it a lot in, in uh, jQuery plugins just because it's, you know, you only have to pass one parameter in that would be your object literal containing all the other parameters that you would want to modify inside the plugin. So, for example, <clears throat> if we have an object literal named test, and inside the object literal, I'm just going to say some young. And then we have another object literal, tester. And I'm just going to put foo, foo. Yep. That's it. So we have these two object literals, and we want to merge them. If we use jQuery's extend, then we could say variable merged is equal to dot extend. In the first parameter, you pass it a blank object literal so it doesn't overwrite the first one. And then you pass your first object and your second object. So now, if we log merged, it should give us the results of all all three parameters inside the object literal as one. So if we have there, you'll see some young and fool all inside one object literal. So that's basic definition, basic usage of the extend method. Um, and again, you would use that. Yeah, right here, we're passing one parameter, <clears throat> which is the speed. But then if we want to pass a speed and then the margin left, instead of doing this, you know, margin, and then another parameter, the, I don't know, top, you know, something else. Instead of having all these parameters separated by commas, we would pass in one object, which would usually be called options. And inside the options, we would use the extend parameter. So instead of, when, once we call um, whatever plugin name, Instead of passing in parameters like this, 200, comma, anything else, comma, something else, we would just pass move x and then an object literal, you know, param1 something, param2 else. So we would pass in an object literal that would go into here, options, and then we would ex extend those options to whatever defaults that you have inside the, the plugin name. Um, so going over that kind of quick, I'll just redo this. Delete the demos and start from here. I'm going to put wire base equals this again. Base in it. and then call base.init at the end. 
<coughs> so we're now back at the basic plugin definition. So now when we're we're gonna put in the 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 extends, so we can put in object literal, pass in parameters into here. We will write base dot options equals jQuery dot extend. Right here, it doesn't matter what you write in here. I'm just gonna put default options just to, just to say it because this is what we're gonna have merged at the end. Um, and then we're gonna pass in the options parameter, which is the object literal that we're, we're gonna pass into once we call the plugin name. So after this, <clears throat> inside of our init function, we're gonna accept the same options parameter. and then extend it with the defaults that we're about to write based on options equals extend. So now we're merging into the defaults that we haven't defined this yet, we're about to all the parameters, if any, that we're passing into when we're calling our, our plugin name. So now here, this this uh, this variable, where we're going to define it underneath our init function, outside of the actual function definition, since it's a jQuery selector dot fn, we're going to put it out, out over here still inside our, our closure of the function the entire closure but outside of everything we're going to define dollar sign dot fn your plugin name dot defaults and that's just going to be an object literal with whatever um, whatever parameters you want so in this case we're, i'm going to keep the the margin left example and we'll just start out with one parameter i'm just going to put a speed parameter right it's going to default to 500 so now when we run this, based on options, once the once the plugin init initializes, then it's gonna if anything was passed in to this, it's gonna overwrite or extend it according to the defaults. So we have speed five hundred, and then after we call some box move x and we don't pass it anything it's going to automatically set to 500 so if we log base dot options dot speed we should get 500 and there it is so now if we call the same exact plugin and then set the speed parameter inside the object literal that we're passing to something else 750 then once we log that to the console, it's going to be 750. It's going to be overridden. So in there, we can just we can say some you know distance. Uh, the default would be 200. Oh sorry, the default over here would be 200, and then we would overwrite that to 1000. So again, if you log it. distance then we should get 750 and 1000 now and there it is so there's basic use example of pretty much a full full plugin definition that's that's pretty much what you're going to see the at least the majority of, of plugin definitions for jQuery use the closure use this plugin name pass in some options and make sure you set your defaults and then whenever you want to use that throughout your your plugin, um, you would just call it by after. Make sure you have this line, so you can reference any parameters that you're passing into from base dot options dot parameter name.